star-crossed lovers went on their date. They ordered expensive fish. Uh, well, Samson ordered expensive sh fish. I don't even remember what I got the was. most expensive thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, literally. <laughs> uh, and then proceeded to eat all of the fish bones because he paid for them. Made him smarter. Made him full of holes. Um... Don't remember what Nim did. What did Nim do last session? <laughs> nothing. That's that literally was part nothing. Of the <laughs> that, that's why we she, were talking about her like crit thing because she, she did met up literally with the group. fucking nothing. She met up with the group and immediately was like, "You guys go out. I'm gonna go back to my room." Yeah, I needed stuff. For yeah, Nim let us out of jail and is like, "I have things to do." <laughs> Yeah. All right. So, that happened. Uh, yeah, they did that thing, <laughs> and then we ended off with them going to the Mopic shop to go find Samson, his uh, found instrument, which has been named. And I don't know why I'm talking like this. I'll be honest. It, it just uh, anyway it has been named uh, thanks to research done by one player, Shaylin. Concre a round of applause for player Shaylin. Literally, a round of applause. Like that shit they made you do in elementary. Yeah, just... Uh, what? They never forced you to, like, take your hands and clap them in a big circle for a round of applause? No. Man, what kind of awful totalitarian bullshit did I go to? I don't even think we had to do that in my elementary school. Oh, man. I really went to some... Well, now I'm stri attempting to strike out three times. Jade? At all? Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, okay. I thought everybody's elementary school was big and healthy. Um. No, the only hokey we had came with pokey. That's pretty hokey. We just went outside and kicked ball or did a scavenger hunt. You okay, Jade? Keep hokey. And you shake it all about. It's what it's all about. Uh, I'm moving, out with about. Moving swiftly on from my, my embarrassment. Um, the Glower. A... Is it percussion? No, it's wind. It's a wind instrument, right? What winds are the Wasn't things it you like move... a trumpet? So it was... Yeah, it's it's the thing it's you blow into. You, you, you... Brass. Mm -hmm. You know, you're right. There is a classification of instruments you blow into that are made of brass. And they just so happen to be called brass instruments. That's crazy. I was never a fucking band kid, leave me alone. Orchestra for life, ride or die. I'm Nerds. not either, but I know the types of instrument that exist. Nerd. Ride or die, Jade! I will I die, will. thank you. <laughs> and well, die. Um, so yeah, and Kiala wanted to say things to the, the music guy. The guy of yeah. music, the, the merchant She was just gonna ask if he knows of any other things you can go do in the evening in this city. No, not really. He's ride or die about music. So, so, he, so as in he doesn't know anything, or there is nothing to do? Uh, he doesn't know. That's fair. Mm. Me neither. Mainly because, you know, he, he works evenings, so he's never out and about to do things. Mm. Uh, right. then yeah, Tiel would leave, look for other things to do by trying to find, like, larger groups of people. And Samson will go with her. I'm crazy. <laughs> no, she leaves him at the music shop. <laughs> <laughs> she leaves him to pay for the instrument. I mean, 
He is the one with money. Does that have a name? How much is the instrument? Uh, uh, well, that answers my question. Um, I thought one of Kiala's questions was going to be a part of paying for that. So, since it's not, uh, we're going to put a pin in it and we can discuss it after the session. So that we can keep it. Yeah, because he also got the cleaning supply kit or whatever. Yeah, we're... One of the two of you, Maintenance. or even Che, if she wants to do it, uh, write, write a short list of notes for everything that was bought so that we can look that over and add it to your known pricing guide. You can add it to your known pricing guide. For future reference, in case you want to go buy a hundred thousand Klar and just arm an army with them, who knows? Woo. Go meet up with the, uh, the, the virgin army of Zanzibar and uh, hand them all the glowers. Teach them how to both use sticks and glowers. So you obtain pending priced items and move out into the great wide city. Whee! Whee! So is there anything particular you're looking for? Uh I mean Shop. groups of people. She's she's assuming that if something is happening there will be lots of people there. Uh, -huh. uh roll me either perception or investigation. Wow. No, I'm gonna hold the DC. One of those rare events that I have several different ranges. Whoa. Alright. So, you do see several groups of people, and you keep, like, waiting and popping your head in, and you know, you see a street performer there performing simple, like, prestidigitation magic. In another group, you, you know, see maybe an artist juggling. There's a long line for a particular store. You know, there, mm -hmm. there's a gathering around a fountain that just decorates the street. So the, there's little things to do, but it's not like anything catches your eye of, oh, this is... You know, Valstrix, the, the Dragon Band, they're, they're having a concert tonight. Ooh, you know, nothing. No big. What's the word I want to use? I feel like I want to use ostentatious, but I don't know if that's the right word. No big, fantastical events going on. No firework displays, you know. It's kind of just a weekday evening hustle bustle there's no anime conventions here uh unfortunately not no anime conventions cringe. no uh brony conventions Less uh, cringe. uh no no manga conventions no fighting tournaments more cringe double uh, cringe no crinkle conventions i don't even know where to classify you that. don't want to know if you don't if you know you know if you don't you, you do you do not Yeah. What? If, I want to know what the long line of people at the store is for. Are they all getting the new iPhone? <laughs> it's a it, it, it's a phone for your eye. Yeah. Also, then there's glasses. Yeah. Uh, you're going to go investigate the store, see what the commotion's about. Yeah. Well, me said skill. Investigation. Uh, out of ten. You have eyes, and they work. I have eyes. No, I don't. You do I not don't. have eyes. They do not work. I don't want to investigate. Samson, Samson knows how stores work. Fuck. <laughs> Oof. So... You go to investigate, and then Samson is caught with excitement, and he bounds in front of you, 
but he's just too excited to really figure out what it is, and you are just captivated by how adorable he is, distracting you from being able to identify the story. Because he's just such a little hyperactive goober, and he's so happy. How could anybody be this not traumatized? Samson's an enigma. Kale is not traumatized. Says Yala. The black what box does disagrees. Yeah. She'll probably like wander around and watch some street performances. Or recline to your Witcher. <clears throat> or not. Yeah, Samson has all the coins. And I don't like the Witcher, so he's not getting shit. Aww. Sorry, am I supposed to say words? I, think I, I feel like I'm uh, supposed to say words. Um, I don't think so. We're just spending time out, and then we yeah. would eventually leave. Yeah, if uh, there's nothing to do, then we'll just wander a bit aimlessly, you know. I mean, there's not nothing to do. There's things to watch, and Michelle was going to watch them. Well, like, nothing major to do. Listen. If you're not interested, you know just where say you're not is from. People doing outside performances is absolutely crazy. I was like, why are they doing this? People are capable <laughs> of being outside without dying. Wow, the world's fucking weird. Yeah, so so, so I guess I guess Samson would find Kala to be the cute one when she's enthralled by this person doing a magic, but it's way less impressive magic than we're used to yeah. on a daily no. basis. Somebody somebody really poorly pulls a coin out from behind her ear and she's like, oh! <laughs> 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 like having like literal oh. magic. I, oh, yeah. I, I literally just, She just like pogs. That I Oh god, the uh, all I see is like the big puss in boots eyes but with a pogging face. Just like ooh, big shiny kitten eyes. Ooh. There was only one flag, and then there were many more colorful flags. The idea of this out of this all is the added, things I, I wholeheartedly agree. <laughs> out of everything so far in the like two years we've been playing the fact that this shit is what's melting <laughs> Yala's in, in, incomprehensibly yes. icy exterior it's the fucking funniest thing for the first yeah, time in our life that magic is the coolest alright do you see this shit Mary Ray <laughs> alright Nim's never done this roll, roll, roll Yala's roll we should Yala's. get one of these how come <laughs> our Nim's not this cool <laughs> Hyala just calls all magic users Nims. <laughs> I mean, then Hyala would also be Nim. And then Zanzibar would also be Nim. And that's oh, no. The Zanza Nim. Okay. You're the Nim! Nims. You're Nim! You're Nim! I'm Nim! Is there anyone here who's not Nim? Oh. Uh, yeehaw. Yeehaw. <laughs> Boris just sits like a. See, it's Nimzabar and Zim. Not allowed. No. Get your own faulty personality. <laughs> he already has one. <laughs> um, but yeah, Shella's gonna roll smile damage to everything in the vicinity. <laughs> Yellow Poggy at Simple Street Magic. <laughs> it would be the best day. Highlight of 2022. <laughs> so, are you two just gonna vibe and watch street performances? Yeah. Uh, shall we move over to Nim? Yeah. Yeah. One roll of obsession and adventure. Also, what time is it? Time uh, it'd probably be like night o'clock. Yeah, didn't yeah, we? Probably didn't somewhere we around like ten. Of, didn't we get out of everything at like six? 
That is a question for mm -hmm. the timekeeper. Keeps the time. We got out of ever we got out of prison by like seven or eight. Yeah, I think at like seven ish we probably split back up. Timekeeper, it's like nine o'clock. You're probably like nine or ten. All right. So what's Nim doing in her room? Yeah. So Nim got uh her jewelry box, and what else was it? Uh, she grabbed some stuff from her room, and then she was gonna go find a store to sell some jewelry at. So. <laughs> Let me get a buddy of mine. What? You, you just go to the pawn stars? Yeah. That that set my the brain local pawn shop. That set my brain on like a absolute trip. Um what'd you say you were doing? My brain got taken over with pawn stars. Going to a pawn shop. Yeah, essentially Nim wanted to uh Nim grabbed the jewelry to sell, so she's gonna take out a ring and a necklace and go find a place to sell them. And then she's gonna go grab some stuff. Um, but I assume this is that that would have happened around the same time that they were eating, which would have been like I, I, hours ago. Yeah. Yeah. So we gotta do a little doodly doodly do. Go back. Go back. Back to the past. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we have to RP this. I think we just hit fast forward. Any rolls or whatever are required, let me know. Um, do you, can you I don't describe the jewelry to me. Okay. You could so spit all it on the fly. The necklace is a Hold on, I have a picture. I have jewelry on my phone. It's a gold inlay ruby necklace mm -hmm. with uh, two diamonds. It's in a bear shape. Wait, you said you had pictures? I deleted the pictures because I'm running out of space on my phone. Goddamn. Um, here's an important thing. Who are you when you walk into the pawn shop? I'm still the student chick with a British accent. British. Yeah. And Nim's not selling any pieces that are like known that she has. Like these are something you can kind of almost like they're they're basic designs. These are nothing. They're, they're special. basic jewelry. It's nothing like yeah. it's nothing so expensive, so visually expensive that this random British student walking into a pawn shop, somebody would be like. Mm -hmm. What, where did you get this and why are you pawning it? So it's nothing, you know, curious. Daddy says they can't sell the, he's gonna have to sell the farm, so I'm gonna sell my most prized possessions. <laughs> <laughs> this necklace I stole from some kid. <laughs> okay, so you it was said a... two pieces of jewelry, right? A ring? Yeah, a ring and a necklace and the... I gotta do calculation in my head. Um, or I could use my phone and make it faster. Yeah, just wanna be sure. So for the necklace, you're going to roll me. Oh, did you describe the ring? Oh, no. Uh, it's also a gold piece, uh, but it's got a heart shaped design. Ah. Roll me a d10 for the necklace. And uh, roll me a roll me a d5 for the ring. Just just a d10? Just a d10 and a just a d5. Have advantage? Yes. It's roll she's doing. Uh, 
How do you, how do you do if I'm typing out a roll? How do you add advantage to it? Um, you it's I don't know if it uses the same thing, but roll twenty. You put the letters K H after you put in the dice, and it should keep uh -huh. the highest. Whoa. I mean, that doesn't it's help not. because you only rolled one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. My bad. Let me do that again. <laughs> you definitely kept the highest of one. Yeah. Oh, shit. So it does work. So what would you... So if you were doing it right... There we go. Did it work? Yeah. Yes. Oh, shit. Good to know. Um, I'm gonna be nice since we were trying to figure out how we were all kind of trying to learn how it would work. Woo! Um, I'm gonna take the second roll. So that's an eight and a five. And mm -hmm. I think that's fair. So you'll get... You'll be offered eight gold pieces, or eight gilded for the necklace and five for the ring. Which you gotta Nine remember minutes. in shekels, that's 800 shekels and 500 shekels, so it's like 800 and 500 dollars, which is fair for average piece of jewelry. If you choose to pawn them for that. Uh, though. Could I do a persuasion check to round that up to 15? I will allow you to roll per persuasion. DC. I feel like we haven't said 17 in a while. Let's go 17. You're welcome. Thanks, Advantage. So, yeah, with, with some haggling and persuading, the British wins the day. You know, the pawn shop owner doesn't look angry or frustrated, but he, you do see as you're haggling with him, he's kind of like, I... Uh, well, uh, oh, okay. Er, um. Yeah, er, um. He certainly doesn't clap his hands together and give you like, well, I know, you, I know you got estimated for this. However, I still need to sell it in the shop. So I know what the expert said, but I'm gonna ball. Hey, who let me call it an expert? <laughs> <laughs> I, oh. Uh, Ed, did you see the meat candy version of that? No. Oh, you really should find it. The whole skit is that somebody actually brings in Jesus Christ nailed to the cross. And they're just discussing it and it's like, wow, this really is Jesus. Ooh, ah, my hands kind of hurt. Can somebody, oh yeah, well, I don't know. Really funny. Um. Oh. Gotta love Meat Canyon. Shout out to Meat Canyon. This episode sponsored by not him. No one sponsors these. I sponsor this stream. <sighs> Certainly not paying me for it. I'm sponsored in exposure, which I do not get. Exactly. <laughs> which I have not gotten. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so an even 15 gold? Uh-huh. Uh, 15 gilded? Yep. Uh, you gained 15 gilded. 15 gild. Sure. Then, uh, Nim is gonna go buy a harp. Buy a harp? Uh, and buy a harp and some potions. Roll me in Vebtigation, because you're not in the same area there as the... Well, actually, you can either roll me an investigation or a history. They should be the same role. They're both intelligences. There you go. Um, so, yeah, you quickly find a music store that you've either heard of, know of, maybe it actually, you know, gives instruments to balance for it, maybe not, whatever description you feel would be necessary. Point being, you find it, and you find a heart, or the TOZ approximation of a heart. I haven't thought of a funny name. There might not even be a funny name. I don't know. Jury's out. Harp heart. It's a heart. Yay! 
herp! Um... Yeah, so Nim buys a harp. We talked about the price. It's a hundred gold. If we talked about the price, then we talked about the price. And then Nim is going to get some health potions, but the big boy health potions. They're superior and what else? Supreme. Which I think you should have in your KPG. Have we bought any of those before? I think so. Print should have. Check the KPG. Uh, and, uh, one person gun. All three of them um, should be able to see and access it. Uh, a level of potion, it was 10 per level, starting at 10 for lesser, so it would be 30 and 40. Uh, how many potions do you guys think we should get? We already have a fuck ton of potions, so Two a lot more. Potion. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see. How much can you afford? Right now. <laughs> All of them. Without breaking um, another platinum. I can get five supreme. Actually, remind me, because I feel like you might have already done it already, but my memory is failing me. Did you ever get the um, thing for exchanging coins? Yeah. Last time yeah, we were in Glutton. She got yeah. it last time we were in Glutton. I had a feeling, because <laughs> I, I was half about to say uh, you might want to pick one of those up. But then I remember you already have one. Oh. That'll be really helpful if you end up in an area where, you know, they're not exactly economically well off enough to exchange 10,000 shekels worth of coinage. <laughs> Fucking just walk into like a 7 Eleven and say, Do you have change for a thousand? And just watch the guy slowly look up at you with this look of like, No. Watch the guy slowly reach for the shotgun they keep on the, <laughs> the desk. See, I was just thinking that they just point to the sign, no bills over a hundred. <laughs> With the gun. Can I get my change in the form of a firearm? Please. Can I get my change in the form of uh oh god, what the fuck are those things called? War bonds? <laughs> Please. Please, and the, the 7-Eleven the down the street. Could you imagine that guy? He wouldn't even need a gun. He would just look at you. He's a cool dude, though. Yeah. I'm sorry, where were we? You were buying uh, potions and, and yeah, a harp? So... How, how big of a harp did you buy? Like a hand harp or... A harp a lily. I'm sorry, go on, Shay. One, one that Nim could hold. Like, it's, it's like... You know the ones that satyrs are pictured using uh, yeah, all the time? Yeah, a, a, a hand liar. Or just kind of a liar in general. Yay, lying. Nim's good <laughs> at that. No, not that kind Change of... Change yeah. and all. Not the kind of lying <laughs> Yala would do, and not the kind of lying Samson would do. <laughs> I'm That's just not true. Samson Nim could use a stringed instrument. Nim's just like... I'm gonna hold a liar. Kiala, she, she just like picks up Kiala who's saying she's healthy. <laughs> <laughs> See, the funniest part of the image is Nim picking up Kiala. <laughs> yeah. Is it bad Nim could attempt to if she wanted to. He just, just doesn't. Is it bad that I imagine Nim just picks up Kiala and takes her whiskers and starts strumming on them like they're strings? What is this, a fucking Tom and Jerry skit? Yes. yes. Instead of the whiskers making noise every time she plucks the whip, and Shallow just makes the noise of like bong bong bing 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 bong 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 bong. Oh, bong, now, oh bong, so it's a, so now it's a Disney skit. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Fantasia skit. So. 
So Nim's just gonna get three big potions. I mean, three of the 30 gold potions. I forget which ones they are. Uh, superior. Yeah. Supreme is a brand name. So, <laughs> it, it costs more. What are you talking about? Clearly, Supreme is the potion brand. That's not that. That that yeah. it, that does in fact make it brand name. <laughs> it is the name of oh, the brand. brand. The, brand. Yeah. the brand name. The name designated the... for that brand. The brand's name. <laughs> it's right. the that brand's name. name. It's a name of a brand. It's the brand's name. Man, I remember in, in a campaign I made the royal icon a plot point. You told me, and I, I never know. got to, and I never got to finish that campaign. That was oh. really sad. Why? What happened? Everybody just left. Uh, it wasn't him, though. Uh, well, you see, I have three players, and one of them was really into playing, but the other two really weren't. So that kind of put a damper on things. Ew. That is kind of gross. You should know. You were the player who was super into play. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, wasn't that... Uh, it wasn't that Pixel wasn't into playing. It's just his schedule was absolutely whack at that point. No, he's, he's, ex he's like, expressly said to me that, like, he doesn't think D&D &D and stuff like that is for him. At least that was his use at the point, because he didn't know what he was doing for any of it. Oof. Even the role-playing. I... Yeah. Granted, things may have changed. This was also years ago, but... Yeah, I think that's... Th yeah. Those are just the answers I got at the time. Because I know one of the things he said was that his schedule was just absolutely whack and what it was the case yeah i'm just saying what he told me anyway who do you say what now when and when? um that was kind of all i had to do for nim so nim's probably going to go back to the school to see if her headmaster has gathered the things she asked for. And then probably head to Emma's house. One of the things you should ask for is a bunch of uh, chalk to cast Teleportation Circle. Right. Um... Can you spare some chalk? Oh, memento, I have to re remind myself of something. <laughs> the only school that provides chalk to the students, but not the teachers. <laughs> so, an average three. So we said it's like basically one hour to get off grounds. And then anywhere in that so that's another hour so we're saying they split up at like seven about yeah so it would have been just about an hour to get back just about an hour to leave then an hour to literally go anywhere within there and because of that range it could even be here and then go back. So, about another hour there. So that's one, two, th 
three. So, one hour to fuck around in that distance, so that's three. And then, four to get back to your room and then the headmaster, you said? No, to the headmaster to see if she gathered the stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the dorm's gonna be close enough to the headmaster's office that there wasn't a need for time dilation or time expounding. So what did I say? One, two, three. It's like I'm counting strokes in golf. One, two, three, four. So four hours. Fuck, that means it's 11 o'clock. 